Hello everyone, it's Bianca once again with vlog number 65. Wow, over 65 vlogs. So, what to talk about? Well, first off, I have seen a few sneak peek of two Nicktoon movies, one being Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling, where Rocco, Heffer, and Filbert return to Earth, now being modernized, and as you can see the rocket in Rocco's house, it would appear that this film seems to pick up where they left off from Future Slock. When I saw this, I was so freaking hyped for Rocco to return. The style looks the same, the music has that Rocco vibe to it, especially the voice acting. Though, Heifer's voice seems a bit off. Other than that, I cannot wait to see this movie. Next, we got the two-part Hey Arnold movie, where Arnold finds a map in his father's journal, and the movie picks up where they left off from the very last episode. You'll see familiar faces from the series. Arnold and his friends now redesign and are taking a trip to the jungle. Yes, the original voice cast has returned, same with the Rocco movie. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see the Rugrats, Ah Real Monsters, and the Angry Beavers return with 90 Minute Movies too. Speaking of movies, there is one I haven't seen since the 80s, and that, my friends, is The Breakfast Club. This was in fact an awesome movie where a bunch of teens are in detention and start messing around and trying to escape, if my memory is correct or not. Then I've read chapter 366 of Hunter x Hunter, where we see a few more Nen Beasts and Princes, including familiar faces like Hanzo and Biscuit. I mean, we haven't been seeing them since... forever. And looking at that Nen Beast looks like a dragon. That's awesome. And at the end? Who's that, huh? Well, believe it or not, it's Krollo, and from the looks of him, his bloodlust... Oh boy, which means he has lost Kortopi and Shalnark, who both died at the hands of Hisoka, and I have a very strong feeling that there's going to be a mass murder on the boat. While I've mentioned Nicktoons, I have watched the Angry Beavers pilot episode that came out in 1994, where two Beaver brothers are snowed in playing games, and if you want to know who this Beaver is, well, it's Norbert, except his design is similar to Daggett's. No, he is not voiced by Nick Bakai, he was voiced by Mitchell Whitfield, meaning that this was before Nick did Norbert. Also, a bit of a surprise for you folks. Ta-da! I have reached 1,000 plus subscribers. Yes! Yes! Yay! 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 Holy shit, for the first time in my life I have reached that much subscribers, and I did release a few for getting that many subs, and I'll give you the links to check them out. I do have some sad news. A few days ago, Harvey Atkin, the voice of Bowser and Triclide from all three Super Mario Bros. animated series has passed away, and that is just sad, and I even made this. Another voice actor named June Foray, she too passed away, and you probably know her for voice in Looney Tunes, DuckTales, and other animated shows she's voiced for... for 90 years. And I have heard from Random DC's DeviantArt page that Emma Prevost, aka Helsing920, also passed away. I thought that it was a joke at first, but this was actually real. Boy, was I shocked. The cause of his death was heart failure, where he had health issues, and I believe it was his hernia. I first known Helsing920 since 2007, when he did game reviews, then he got suspended for copyright claims by 20th Century Fox during his interview containing a song from Ozzy Osbourne. In 2008, he returns with Epic Rants, Fanboy Chronicles, Console Wars, and The Long Box Chronicles. He may be a smart guy, but people may have problems with certain stuff in his videos. In 2010, he got suspended for false claims by someone you do not want to know, and I dare not to mention that name. Months later, his account got reinstated as he came back with a series called Reaction and Reviews, where he reviews a ton of movies, and I really enjoyed his work. Fast forward to 2017, he is now removed from this world at age 34. That is so young, and he had lived a short life. I mean... That isn't right for him to die at that age. Minding you, I never saw him in person and I never talked to him on Skype. That's basically it. With Helsing gone, I really don't think YouTube will ever be the same and it's going to be difficult for us to move on without him. Emmer, I may have not met you, but you are a very smart and talented person and entertaining. 
but you will be missed and I will always remember you while watching your reviews. So with that, this ends my 65th vlog, and in the words of the late Helsing920, this is Lord Biako saying, take care, and I'll see you all in the near future. Peace.